Hi there, I'm Buddy and I think that I have solved the problem through when I've been out on my boat, either my friends or my wife get fed up with pulling the anchor in when we're anchored in sort of 25 to 60 metres of water, which is about 80 to 200 feet uh, deep and it's a long way to pull the anchor up by hand. So consequently I've come up with an idea that I can use a, the power of the boat for pulling up uh, the anchor. Now the anchor on my particular boat is, uh, which is about a 15 foot boat, um, the anchor and chain weigh about 11 kgs which is about 25 pound and there is about 5 meters which is about 17 feet of chain on the end of the anchor. So this little unit which I've designed here will go onto the buoy and I want you to look closely at the engraving that is on the end of here and it shows which direction the anchor goes and which direction the boat goes in relation to the pulley on here. Now on it there is a quick acting shackle which will open very quickly and you can see that that will open up, we can open it up there for putting the rope on. So this has the advantage of not having to be fed on from the end of the rope. If the rope is already out, we can slip it on from the side. Obviously to put it back in is exactly the reverse operation of before. And the shackle is a very quick acting shackle. Now you need a buoy to actually float in the water. And you can either use a old drum. This is a 25 litre, which is about a four gallon drum. You can put the rope that comes with the anchor buddy on it, put it through, and that would do in the water uh, for holding up, and that would lift up quite a reasonable sized um, anchor on there. Or we can put it onto a uh, purpose-built buoy. A little bit awkward to hold it and feed it on at the same time but it will go in. You could shackle it on, but because there is a rope on here, it can be fed on through the rope, the iron the rope, and it will hang off the buoy there. And of course, being a bright orange one, it's very easy to see in the water. So I'm just gonna take this off here because we're inside the garage and I'm gonna hang it up uh, from a rope hanging from the ceiling so that you can see how this thing is actually going to work in operation. Okay, so cover that one. Well, here we are. I've got it hanging from the uh, ceiling of my garage and I've got the rope off my boat here. This hand here is holding the rope that is going back to the boat. This hand here is holding the one that is going to the anchor. If you look closely on the end of here, it will show you that the anchor has got to go in that direction and the boat has got to go in this direction. So I'm going to open it up uh, from here. I open up the shackle. I'm going to put the rope in there so that the rope on this side is going out towards the boat. I'm going to put that back up and close the shackle. It's now ready to operate. So I'm actually in the boat. Now, I'm going to pull this, but in there, when you see later on, you'll see I'm going to use the boat for the energy for pulling this up. So I'm pulling that up, and it doesn't matter where I actually stop. You can see that it's coming through there. If I grab it like that, it's instantly, it locks onto the rope. I'll pull it up some more, just to show you the chain is starting to come up. In this case here, I have got the chain spliced onto the rope but it won't and it'll go straight through. I'm gonna stop it part of the way through on the splice and grab on that splice and you can see that the splice is about 22 mils diameter or that's about seven eighths of an inch in imperial sizes. And I'm coming up to the chain and you can see, you can hear it clicking over the chain. I stop, it will lock on the chain. I'll do that a few more times so you can see, doesn't matter where you stop, it's pulling it up. stops and it locks it. Pull it up some more, it will lock it. Of course, when your boat's driving along, it's gonna come up at a constant rate. Now the anchor is actually coming up, of course, this case it's coming off the floor, it's coming up to the top, and it won't go anymore, it's going to lock. 
and you'll notice at that point, when it's in the water, the boy will actually pop up out of the water quite dramatically at that particular um, point. Now to remove it off, once you've got it in the boat and you want to remove it, once again, all we do is we open up the shackle, pulls out, one side of it will slip away and we can lift it um, out on there. So that's on an anchor rope and a chain. I'm now going to show you uh, how it works on some different sized ropes.